Today we're looking at Xyiru, a Gold One Baptiste. They requested this review on the Overwatch University subreddit where they wrote, I'm gonna lose my shit if I keep losing these easy games against these terrible teams. All day every day I hear that I can carry without having crazy mechanics, but I can't seem to figure it out so I'm here to ask you all for help. Things I know, I have pretty meh alt usage. I struggle to find the right timing for window. I also have terrible mechanics, which results in a lot of potentially strong plays going to waste. Things I'd like to know. How can I position better? How can I get more value out of LAMP? And any other issues you notice? Thanks in advance. Well, that is correct. In Gold 1, mechanics are not what is holding you back. So we'll definitely pay attention to the other things you mentioned, and I'll see what I can do to help you out. First thing we always want to do is take a look at our team comp. So we got MAGA. Soldier Widow, Bap Ana. Yeah, so you have uh, Bap Ana. That's a lot of healing. That means uh, that gives us a lot more freedom as Bap to go for more damage. Especially uh, another thing I want you to think about too is if your Ana is just hard pocketing the tank, which often happens in gold, uh, pay attention to that. And that might mean you need to help your DPS a little bit more. As far as your window, uh, you could combo it with Soldier's Visor. That could be pretty good. Even like just throwing it up in front of Maga, he can melt people with that. Those are the type of things you should think about. Let's see how it goes. Might need to throw out Lamp for Maga. Yeah, definitely there was a, there was a Lamp opportunity there, especially like when the May wall came out, Maga was crit. I absolutely would have thought about just, you know, throwing up lamp to keep him up. It's just an Overwatch 2 with the one tank. It puts your your team in a very bad spot if your tank dies fast. That's good though. Yeah, I want you to keep backing up. It's good to heal your Ana, but Your Widow does get a pick on the May, so we could definitely push on this. How did they push past us? A nice damage. Finish off the Moira. Nice job. Yeah, you can rotate to kill the, the Maga now. He does get both your DPS, but it looks like we're still going to win the fight, which is good. Finish off the May. That's fine. Good job so far. We already have our window. So we could think about as soon as the enemy team pushes in, as soon as they commit, we could definitely think about just throwing window right up to just ensure our team wins the fight. Yeah, help your Sojourn in that duel. Yeah, so we kind of left our, our Sojourn out to dry there. Let's actually back that up a little bit. Where are we? So we're here, you know, we're shooting the May. She's shooting us. Sojourn comes in to duel her. And we, we turn to look at Widow. I get Widow's crit, um, but at the same time, she's way off over here. You know, she's not in imminent danger. And worst case, there is like a health pack back there that she can grab. Whereas when Sojourn is actively dueling, we should really think about just supporting her in the duel. Uh, one big tip that I give for metal rank supports is pay attention to who your team, who your DPS are focusing and try to focus the same targets. That can often be the difference between whether or not your team can get the kill. Because you could be, you know, you could be healing Sojourn, making sure she doesn't die, also doing damage on this May. You know, maybe we force her cooldowns out, we can kill her. Or, you know, maybe she she backs away. Different things you can think about. She dies there. I mean, granted that the supports come in to, to help May. But, you know, with your added damage, maybe we could have um, and healing. 
maybe we could have gotten the kill on May fast, or at the very least, escorted so Sojourn out of there when it became an unfavorable duel. I get it, you want to help your widow, but she's not like active in the fight. She also has um she can also grab those health backs. Here though, you know, your Mog is way out there, you're walled off, you're probably not gonna make it to him in time, so. I think it's smart to, to be backing out. I like this, you know, you're escorting your widow, making sure she stays safe. We still have this window, so I definitely want to see you use it next fight. Yeah, be careful here. Uh, Cause like, unless you can get a quick kill, um, you're not really gonna accomplish much in, except for feeding the enemy supports ult charge. No, granted they have their ults, but we don't know that in game. Uh, it, you know, because you don't, you already have your ult. It's not like you need to to farm ult charge here. So I would just think about playing behind your team and just getting ready to getting ready to use this window behind them. Like it's a little risky, but our team comes in to help us. That was a really good pull by their life weaver. You could honestly even just think about like, they, they threw the May wall up. You could just rotate around here, throw your window up, get rid of this, uh, get rid of this tree of life fast. And then you could just guys could, you guys could continue to take the space. Although May does come in with the blizzard. So that is a little tough. Yeah, you know, they did use a few ults, so I don't think it was terrible that you didn't use your window there, actually. But absolutely, now that they've expended those, I mean, we could see in the replay that they don't have any ults for the next fight. We absolutely could think about just using our window early when we all regroup. Like, yeah, this is too risky. You have your ult. Okay. I would have liked if your soldier like took the high ground with you to, to make use of it, but can't control what our team's teammates do. And we win the fight, so it's forward. And now you can poke to farm your next window as fast as possible. Back away from the May. So another thing you can think about doing, I mean, I know you used your, your regen, you used your lamp. Um, if you find yourself like caught out on low ground like this, like, you know, there's this, uh, there's this bridge right here. There's this high ground. We could definitely think about charging up our exo boots and, you know, just, just going up here to, to stay safe, get some nice high ground vision. Just in general, as BAP, it's good to just be spam crouching and like, you know, half charge your exo boots frequently just so you have them if you need them in a pinch. Uh, just another thing you should always be thinking about just to stay safe and be evasive as BAP without having to expend your cooldowns. Looks like we're going to win this. Yeah. Nice damage. So we almost have another window. As soon as the enemy team commits, as soon as like, you know, they've pushed like off this low ground around here, they have nowhere to go. That's a great time to just throw up window right in front of your team. Um, so we can just, you know, maybe get some quick kills. Maybe you force them away, especially, you know, your soldier has visor. Another thing you could think about doing is just paying attention to where he is, playing behind him, so you can, you know, throw it up in front of him and you guys can combo else. If you're in voice chat, you could call that out as well. Good work. 
Yeah, so that's a little tough. We needed to, to make the jump on top of the Maywall to, to heal Maga, throw Lamp out, but he also died kind of fast, so it, it's it's tough. Yeah, we do get a kill with the Soldier Visor. Yeah, so we did get a couple picks, so just be actively fighting, and as soon as our Maga comes back, this fight's still winnable. This is kind of a long rotation. I'd like to see you stay active in the fight here. Yeah, like your sojourn died there. And we're, we're far away from our Maga too. So yeah, let's uh, back that up a little bit and let's talk about what happened there. So we're over here, you know, with uh, with the majority of our team, our sojourn's coming back. Where's our, where's our Maga? Hold on. Okay, yeah, he's... Uh, yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah, he's he's right in front of you guys. Sorry, but um, yeah, what you do is as he's pushing up, as your your team is starting to engage, you turn away and make this long rotation like Widow. Widow is doing it so she can get long sight lines. But uh, for you as BAP, I would prefer to see you kind of stay up here, you know, help your team break the Sigma shield. And just, uh, you know, just try to stay active in the fight. Because what happens here is you make this long rotation. You know, we kind of we kind of move into the wall there. It happens. But we just spend a little bit of time being inactive to the f in the fight. Our sojourn dies. And not only that, we're not paying attention to where our, our Mog is rotating. He ends up going the opposite direction. So we're just too far away from him to support him. So if you're going to do those rotations, if those um, if you're going to reposition like that, I'd ideally like to see you do that like pre fight uh, between fights, because uh, if you do that in the mid fight, as we can see, the inactivity will absolutely hurt you. Uh, sometimes, you know, by not being able to rotate, it means that during the fight, you might not be in the, the ideal spot, but especially like in gold, activity is more important than anything. We still have this window, too, so. Yeah, Ana dies. I mean, we should be looking around, but at the same time, she probably should have used cover. Like here, you know, your, your team is coming, coming around. Your MAGA is, you know, actively fighting. Even like as soon as like the enemy team or, or even right now, if we could throw window up just to ensure that we can like kill the Sigma ERE fast, that would basically confirm this fight for our team. Like we could be, um, I granted, Ana does nano our MAGA, but even when he gets low, we could throw the window up just to give him a, that extra healing. Because uh, window does double your healing as well as your damage. So yeah, we need to use this alt next uh, this fight here. Like our sojourn's coming up with uh, uh, with overclock. We could think about comboing it with her. Even just like throwing it up. See how the enemy team is really like committed down on this incline here. 
even like throwing window up right here where like Sigma doesn't really have anywhere to go. Uh, maybe we can like get a quick kill on one of the squishies before they can duck around the corner. These are the ideal moments you want to think about using it. Okay. Yeah, honestly, I mean, I'm glad he finally used it, but we could even think about throwing it up a little bit more forward. So as uh, you know, as we kill the Sigma, we can move up and still like be able to continue taking space while still making use of the window because this is a little bit more restrictive. See how like your MAGA, your, your Sojourn is kind of just, you know, restricted to playing in these tight little sight lines. Playing a little, putting it a little bit more forward will give your, your team better vision. The other thing, too, is I just want to I'm just kind of curious uh, how long you held on to that alt for because it's uh, 840 right now. I just want to see. So. A minute we still had it. Had it here. OK, we're 97. So basically. That was three minutes in a 10 minute push game that you had your window and you just held on to it. A general tip I can give you, I know you said in your post that you're having trouble figuring out the timing for your window. What's gonna help you figure out the timing is just alting more often. I've told this uh, story in my on the channel before, but when I was on the amateur, uh, when I was on an amateur esports team, my coach felt like our team wasn't alting often enough. So for an entire two hour scrim block, she told us, you guys are just going to use your ults as soon as you get them. So we did that and we did really well in that scrim. Like, did we waste some alts doing that? Um, of course we did, but not as many as you'd probably think. It is important to just in Overwatch to just alt as often as possible because like in that three minute window, you know, we could have used our, we could have um, used our alt and then built another one as well. So like I said, alting often uh, that will help you figure out the timing and when is the optimal time to, to use window in general. Yeah, we got a sorry, I got a little distracted. We got to go back to 840. Your team is It's okay. It happens. Yeah, we could have thought about using our, our lamp a little bit sooner. Maybe for maybe for Widow. Definitely for Maga at least. Uh, at this point, it's too late and the fight's lost. It's better to just die as quickly as possible so you can all you can all regroup for the next fight. The same thing you're rotating around during the active fight. See how you're not in in a position to help your team. Your MAGA dies. I, I definitely want you to just pay attention to where your team is rotating and, uh, you know, trying to move with them. Like if you're going to make those long rotations to try to get an off angle, do it like between fights, like like we said earlier. I don't need to go over that again. Sorry. Yeah, I know you couldn't get vision of that room, but you could have maybe thought about. Actually, never mind. I was going to say you could have thought about throwing lamp, but once again, it's better to just die quickly because we it is crucial for us to regroup. All we need to do, it's 11 seconds. We just need to full regroup, win one fight, and then we win the game. But your, your team is not doing that. You see your, your MAGA is, is already out there. At this point, there's really nothing you can do. It's it's GG. Yeah, I mean, like I said, not much we could do at that point. But uh, big things I want you to think about in this game. 
uh, just your rotations. I want you to to pay attention to where your team is rotating, uh, especially as BAP. It's usually better to play with with teammates uh, behind where your your tank and, and your team is moving. If you're going to do those long rotations to take an off angle, at, le at the very least, I want to see you do it between fights, not in the middle of a fight where you're going to be inactive for a period of time. The other thing, too, is just your ults. I just want you to use your window as often as possible. That will help you figure out like the timing and when it is and isn't an, an optimal time to use it. Um, so that's all I have for now. Let me know if you have any questions. If anyone would like to request a VOD review, check the link in the description and best of luck with your climb.